Well, welcome back to the second video of the Optimized Landscapes series, I guess. Anyway, last video we uh, looked at the runtime settings and how they all work. And we were playing around with, you know, these things. And we kind of got to this position where we were loading everything with the run, uh, with the grid for the well petition grid runtime settings and now we want to look at how we can actually play around with the LODs of the landscape itself so you know maybe you would combine this setup with lower LEDs in the distance perhaps that would be good enough for your scenario but then also this leads on to the third video which is HLODs but before we get onto that let's look at the actual landscape LODs. Uh, so I'm going to turn off this grid quickly and we will probably return to this so I can talk about kind of set up the video for HLODs before uh, the third video. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll just do it in the third. When you have your landscape selected in the outliner, we want to come down here, not to that one, but to this one, LOD distribution. Now this basically is um, the default setup and what this does is visualize, show the visualizer version of this in a second, but I want to quickly just run through these and then we will visualize them and go through these again um, because that is how I'm going to teach it. So LOD zero screen size. This is the starting screen size used to calculate the distribution. You can increase the value if you want less LOD component and use a very large landscape component. So you can increase the value if you want less LOD zero component and you have a very large landscape. So yeah, that's basically, we'll see visually in a minute, this is how big the LOD zero, how much of LOD zero takes up the screen. LOD zero, the distribution setting used to change the LOD zero generation. This is the normal distribution 1.25. Numbers influence directly the LOD zero proportion on screen. So it's kind of confusing about what these, the difference between these two, but we will change them when we visualize it so that it becomes a bit, bit more obvious. Um, basically this is attached to like LOD zero on its own and how big it is. Whereas this is how big LOD zero is in relation to the other LODs. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, and then these other LODs, the other LOD setting is basically the distribution of those other LODs. Distribution settings used to change the LOD generation. Three is the normal distribution. Small number means uh, you want your last LODs to take more space. A big number means you want your first LODs to take more space. Okay, um, so we're kind of this is like a slinky, slinky kind of setting for the other LODs. Now, in order to see what's going on with these, um, you want to visualize it. So, in order to do that, we want to go up to here into our uh, view modes and choose this visualizer tab and go to LOD. Now this is basically what you get. Gray represents LOD zero. Red is one, green is two, so on so forth. And you'll be able to see the layers as they kind of go from gray outwards. Uh, if we were to go right up into the sky, you can see that we have gray here being the zero LOD, red being one, green being two. Beyond that would be, I think it's blue, but I'm not 100%. Can't. So anyway, LOD zero screen size. Let's start playing with this. If we was to whack this to something like one, this should bring everything closer. So we start to essentially lower the, uh, the the poly count of the stuff in the distance and we're kind of squeezing it into this center point where the camera is based. Now one is pretty decent and obviously the higher you go with this number the smaller your LOD zero is going to be in relation to these other ones they're going to start closing in on it. So let's just go crazy put it to two. This will basically get rid of zero in its current setup but it basically uh, swaps our original setup for like one two, three, as opposed to zero, one, two. Hopefully that makes sense. So now we're kind of similar to what we had at the start, except we have LOD one, two, and three, instead of zero, one, two. 
it's just play basically playing with the distances. If we wanted, though, we wanted to still have zero around us, this will be where we might want to start playing with this. Yeah, okay. So, by changing this, we get, you know, we start to bring back LOD zero. And this is where you have to start, like, playing around with these ranges to see whether or not we are happy. You know, it's, it's, it's about your preference and your setup. Um, but generally, you know, you probably wouldn't do this as much. But let's just say you wanted this. You know, you've got zero, one, two and you just wanted to change change it like that so we have a bit of zero present and then perhaps we would drop this down oh yeah so maybe we put this down to two and this should really squeeze in a few more uh, LODs in the distance so yeah we've started to get now we've got four LODs present on the map let's bring this down to one just you know sometimes it's good to just really exaggerate things and that is definitely not what we want because we have squeezed it way too much. So I'm just going to put this back to 1.5. Okay, so 1.5 seems to be pretty good. So this is probably what you might end up doing for like a lot of stuff. And I'm just going to bring this back down now. Okay, so 2.3. See if that affects anything. You can basically, you know, I'm, I'm kind of spitballing here. Okay, so here we go. This is a pretty decent distribution, I would say. But what happens with this like we might be getting a better i mean we haven't tested it so we don't know if we're getting better performance but this is basically you know how you do it so if i was to take away the visualizer we can see that we have drastically changed the distance of the uh, mountains in the in the distance you can see that they have become a lot more blocky not as nice so if i play you just got to test like is that that loss of visuals worth it performance wise because currently I'm seeing arguably a worse uh, FPS. I didn't actually take note of the draw calls or anything, but I would argue that this isn't really that much better. It, but it might be on different machines. It, it might just be that really it's I've got a bit of a beast of machines, so it might be kind of negligible what I'm doing here. But this is for you guys to test and see. But yeah, we're still obviously rendering the entire map and the LODs might not make a drastic difference because we might still be caching the LOD zero in memory which is, might have a issue it might have an issue with that so basically you know that's just kind of showing you what is going on now without putting the visualizer back on I am going to scoot these back to their default settings and we should start seeing a drastic change in the mountain there we go yep yeah. so as we start bringing all these settings back, you can see that all start to change in front of us. So it is about really trying to balance what you want uh, to achieve, what your landscape is, and how you kind of want to use these things in your advantage uh, and whatnot. That is basically how you do it. And there's no more to it than that, really. This kind of goes into the last video, which might be a little bit longer. This essentially leads into the next video properly because we have to use these settings specifically these LOD distribution settings for the next video so join me on the next video which is how we basically set up HLODs hierarchical level of detail um, so yeah see you in the next one